What's up guys? Lenny Yell Life is now up today. Super excited. I'm gonna show you the Vitamix stainless steel container. These are our first impressions. I wanna show you how it looks, how it feels, how it sounds, and kinda of let you know what to expect. When I opened up the box, I noticed a few things right away. First thing you notice with this thing is it's weight. It's heavy. It's 3.75 pounds. So that's three pounds and 12 ounces uh, compared to the 48 ounce container, the, the standard one, which is two pounds, 10 ounces. So there's like a 40% difference. You can feel uh, sort of the, the weight, that the heaviness of this container. This thing is sharp and not in the sense of like cut yourself. Uh, the blade is the same blade that's in the, the 48 ounce container. That's not sharp, but the, like the edges are not cut you again, but different. They're not rounded like the standard containers. And that's by nature, it's stainless steel. It's, it's molded, bent stainless steel. So that rugged feeling is what you get when you hold the bottom, when you touch the top, but the opposite of when you hold the handle. And the handle is, I think it's one of the marketing lines. It's a ergonomically designed handle. It's really nice to hold. And this uh, piece is sort of a protector against the, the heat that might come from this container. It's a feeling that's sort of premium yet raw. And, and I want to talk about the, the rawness, like the imperfection for a second. You can see, I mean, this is not a, a mold that comes out of an injected uh, Triton, which is a, a branded, nice word for plastic, mold. It's a bent piece of steel, which is cool. There are going to be in some imperfections. And I noticed some of those um, here where the handle's attached. And then even like on the inside, I took a look and you can see like, it's, you know, there's like not rough spots, but like little imperfections, like discolorings, tiny. And that's cool. I, I actually think I kind of like that about it. It looks really nice with the stainless steel A3500 we have that lives in our kitchen. It's designed to match. It also looks pretty good on a all black. And if you have a sort of the old school brush stainless, sort of that goldish, I think the Pro 750s are Earl Grey now. Earl Grey, drinking tea. The the pearl gray. And that's nice because this container is compatible with all full size machines. With this stainless steel, you get some really satisfying sounds. I found. The sound when you pick up this container off of a cutting board, it sounds like you, you're picking up a knife. Container comes with a clear Triton top. You can see through to see what you're making. This one's actually the same shape as the one that comes with the standard 48 ounce container, but it's a different color. This is a gray uh, versus more of a blue tint to the one that comes with the standard 48. <laughs> I just like how this thing looks swinging on camera. In the promotional video we saw that Vitamix put on their website about this container, they showed it doing three things dry grains, cold blends, and hot ones. So we decided to put it to the test. Before we made anything, we did what you should do with all new kitchen tools is we washed it. We gave it a blender bath. So quick cleaning cycle, and then we put it to the test. We wanted to see, could this thing grind dry grains? And if it could, how well could it do? We know that the dry grains container is purpose built for grinding dry grains. The blade is a little different, so it sends ingredients upwards, this container has the same wet blade as the, the 48 ounce container, the non dry grains 48 ounce container. So we took this container next to a dry grains container and made oat flour. And this thing did a really good job. We didn't put it through a sieve to methodically test, but both really good and we were impressed. Then we tried a hot recipe and we wanted to make our cauliflower soup, but we were missing one of the ingredients, I think shallots. So we made our queso, nuts, red pepper, some spices, soup setting, go and you get our queso. And this was interesting. First of all, the container got hot, like really, really hot. So hot that if you make hot soup or uh, other hot blends in this container, you need a hot mitt. Uh, again, this part, the handle doesn't get hot and this part doesn't get hot, so you're safe to hold it like this. But if you end up having to hold it here, you need a hot mitt. And it got hot fast. 
Um, and so that was interesting because actually the queso that our recipe is perfectly calibrated for the, smooth, the, the soup setting and it got overcooked. And I think it's because the container got hot and almost like cooked the, the queso. Whereas normally in the, the clear containers, the temperature of the container itself doesn't change. Uh, and that's why you can hold it from the outside no matter what you're making. The stainless steel changes temperatures to what's inside of it very quickly. And then we made ice cream. We made banana ice cream in here and it was awesome. Now, I admittedly, I was kind of skeptical of the stainless steel container. People have been asking for it, partially maybe for nostalgic reasons, partially because of health reasons. And I wasn't so sure that I saw the value of having this container, especially when you, uh, at this very moment, can't choose it as your main container. It's, a, it's an add-on. But the nice cream was awesome. It was like the best batch we've ever made. And I think a lot of it had to do with the container getting really cold to match the temperature of the frozen bananas. It, it just seemed like the consistency was more uniform, where, where the outside wasn't melty compared to the inside, which was more frozen. So you kind of had more time to scoop it out without it melting and turning into banana soup. Look, like this is what we do for a living. And there are new attachments and containers and accessories that come out all the time. And we live a really minimalist lifestyle and it's, it's less is more for us. And so when, when new stuff comes out, we almost have our guard up. And, but when we made ice cream, there was like a, I had a feeling that I haven't had for a long time uh, about uh, an offering from Vitamix. And it was like, it was just excitement. And like, I just was like kind of happy. I just felt really good. Uh, it felt like being in a malt shop and having uh, the malt brought to your table with that stainless steel part that was frosty on the outside and you could feel it. Something about it was very satisfying. So is having a really fun ice cream making experience worth the price of this thing? I don't know. The stainless steel container might be for you if the answer is yes. If you're looking for a non-reactive container, I don't think that the standard containers are not non-reactive, but this is definitely non-reactive. And so what does that mean? If you're making acidic uh, recipes like tomato sauce, uh, the the material is not going to seep out into the to the recipe so this type of material non-reactive is preferred by culinary professionals might be for you if you value incrementally better features so like this might have been a little easier to clean than the standard containers by nature this is going to be odor and stain resistant so if you're making again our queso which has garlic garlic powder in it Without having to work too hard, you can make green juice in this thing and not have your green juice taste like garlic. It also might be for you if you're considering the dry greens container and you're like, well, maybe I can kind of get almost just as good, if not as good as the dry greens container in here and also get the benefit of a secondary 48 ounce container, which, oh, by the way, might be easier to clean and it might be odor and stain resistant and it might be non-reactive, which might be better for cooking uh, acidic recipes like tomato sauce. But this container might not be for you if, well, if you were hoping for a stainless steel container and still you have the clear lid and that disappoints you. I know that the original stainless steel container from one of the vintage Vitamix machines, it had the same type of design. It had stainless steel and it had the clear lid on top. It might not be for you if you have challenges with sort of wrist strength. Um, it's not debilitatingly heavy, but it's heavier for sure. And it might not be for you if, if the imperfections that come with this, and there will be some because it's stainless steel. And if you look inside and you see a tiny little spot and that makes you uh, uncomfortable, this might not be for you. The, the standard Triton containers actually might be a better fit for you. Guys, my first impression of this thing is I like it. It's good. But our review, our full review of it, uh, will come soon. And we'd love to hear what you think about it. So if you do give one a try, let us know. Let us know how you use it in your home and how you feel about it. And guys, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. 
hit that bell to get notified. And if you appreciate videos like this, hit that thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Oh, that made a good noise. Great noise. And we got to go on that one. Mm -hmm. Does it click? It does click. It does. You just have to get it on the right angle. Like this. Now click. 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 Does it click? <laughs> it clicks. Okay, this way. Okay. I didn't need him. You don't? No, I'm Do not. Do we do it on high? I need my headphones. You want them or don't want them? I do. Okay, they were on. And it's loud. Got them? <laughs> okay. Same thing. Ramp it up. Turn it on. Is it this one? Nope, this one. And then ramp it all the way up. for a full minute because that's a to get the top off because we haven't used it before. Can you show Dada? That's like dough. It's like cloud dough again. See? Dada? The other thing is that one. Can you show me again and hold it still? I can do it. Okay, do it. No mama, just hold it still. Perfect. Hmm? Again. It's, it's, it's this top one. That's the one for the stainless steel. Okay. Can you do it again? Can you show, like, can you do it? Yeah, that's good. No, 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 I have to Hang do it. Hang on, this. I'm showing Dada what it feels like, okay? Don't do that, oh, look. No, no, no. Is it stuck? No, not sharp, but we don't touch it. Is it plastic? Um, it's glass, actually. Okay. Very similar. This yeah, is warm. It's still there. It's warm. Okay. You want this? Okay. This is really cute. It is really cute. See? There.